Reluctantly moving on from my Mark II and Mark III Spitfires, there's an Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint Special. That's a nice looking beastie. Look at that, look at that, all that chrome and red. See, most of these cars are red, and I'm not surprised really. That is definitely the sporty colour. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then here, right opposite, is another Alfa. This one's a convertible. What we got here is a Giulietta Sprint as well. Soft top. But this is a Sprint instead of a Sprint Special. I don't know the difference. But those of you watching may well do. Cracking. Cracking little collection. Meanwhile, over there, we have a pair of minis. Lovely stuff. Look at that. It's a mini pickup, this one. 1971 mini pickup. I love it. And here's Woody Countryman. Oh, beautiful little thing. Oh, hey. They I mean, both are, in fact. Great woodwork. Look at those opening rear doors. They're just gorgeous. <laughs> what can you carry with a Mini? Well, you can carry a couple of oil drums. I can remember my grandfather had one of these. And he used to put beehives in it. Brilliant. Brilliant. And of course got Moggy over there. That's a Moggy pickup. Morris Minor. Have the old one. It's marvellous. Marvellous little collection here. And it's so much as well. I mean, look, look, down here, there's even a boat. You've got cars, boat, got an RAF uniform, outboard motors. Look at that. Okay, let's go downstairs for some more of the collection. We go, start off before we get to the cars. There's 1950s Albatross aluminium speedboat, a pair of Albatross skis in the background. Now, that's nice. Now, this being an island, that's quite an important thing to have a speedboat. You know, if you're going to live on an island, you've got to do stuff with the water. Why would you not want to? Although I suppose it's only an island if you look at it from the sea. That's a line from Jaws. There we go. Look, here we go. What we got here? Ford Cortina Lotus Mark One. There's a Merc. That's a big Merc. It's lovely. It's a 190 SL, 1962. Of course, got the E-types. Everyone loves a nice E-type, don't they? There you go. Convertible. It's got to be convertible. They look stupid without the uh, roof down. You know, when you've got them noddy cars. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Absolute stunning design. That massive long bonnet. Look at that. That's a Series 2 4.2 litre E Type Jaguar in black. And here we go. Wow, look at this. Found after 49 years in the garage on 15th of December 2016 in Luca. Car restored to its original state by the Model Classic Museum. Stored with its original parts, well, you would think it's never been driven, let alone bloody restored. Look at it, absolutely first class. Wow, beautiful. Oh, and this one's for sale, a 1959 Gogo Mobile T700, fully restored, 14,000 euros. Well, I don't want one, but 
you know, one of you might. It's nice. What's this? A Trabant. 1979 Trabant. P601. I can remember these all screaming across the border of uh, East and West Germany. <laughs> uh, it's very basic, isn't it? Made of melted down T-34 tanks. And then over here, what have we got? Austin Healy 100. Look at that view. Look at that colour. That's a stunner. Really nice. Oh, and the two-tone bodywork with the white and the metallic kind of taupe colour, I suppose. Now we've got a 1960 Alfa Romeo 2000 Berliner over here. Pretty thing. Stuck in a corner, so I can't really get to it all that well. But never mind, because I can scoot round down over the bonnet and get some more. That lovely Austin Healey. And the Trabant with the E-types, Mercedes and so on behind. And then what have we got here? Oh, I say, what, what? Oh, uh, shall we take a trip to the rolls, my darling? I say, what? What, what? What, what? This is the uh, lady there. 1926 Rolls-Royce 20 horsepower limousine. And then over here, another old biddy car. A biddy mobile. What we got there? What is it? 1929 Pontiac. Now the Pontiac, the American car, is smaller than the English car. Well, what are you now, old boy? Hmm. Now here we have a flying standard eight. Oh, just look at that. Look at that long sloping grill. Really deep grill. That's lovely. It's really nice. And then next to it is a 1930. Delahaye torpedo here, which is a bit chitty chitty bang bang, isn't it? I think rather nice. Now, I actually know the guy who designed or knew the guy who designed chitty chitty bang bang, Sir Ken Adam KB. He was uh, a typhoon pilot during the war, German Jew, typhoon pilot during the war, 609 squadron. I don't know what sort of car he used for chitty chitty bang bang, but that's what that one looks like to me. Now, here we go. What we got? A little BSA motorbike. It's nice. And a bicycle. A oh, little model of a Spitfire up there. And this is a... What is it? This is Austin, England, in it? But anyway, this is, this is a little RAF selection. Let's have a look. Now, this 9439... I think there is a very special link here, a very special link to the original owner of this museum, Carol Gallia. It's a 1953 Austin A40 summer set drophead coupe. Now, if we go past the old uh, RF gentleman here and along past the outboard motors you see an old picture of it look at that now there is Carl Gallia who, who started this museum search and rescue his father's first family car half a century later so that is his old family car and that's him sitting on it there look and his mum and his dad. Now, how wonderful is that? What a wonderful story to, to find, rescue and restore your old family car. Absolutely wonderful. Imagine the feeling he must have got when he located that. So, here we go to the little old uh, Fit 500. Now, that looks like it says something else on there. Is this like a Russian version? 1963 Fiat 500D. The pink convertible one. It's quite sweet, isn't it? So that is a downstairs collection, and that's a very nice downstairs collection, I say. It's 
one back upstairs. <laughs>